It is the 6th of the 1st, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. I'm going to go ahead and start off by uh, plugging another Mary Greeley video. Uh, she just put out te tectonic plate movement linked to pole flip, and this is uh, ongoing um, things she's finding out about um, the pole flip and what happens and uh, what's going on right now as far as that goes. She explains a lot better than I could, believe me. Uh, let's go over to SOP.net. Tornadoes in 2011 set deadly, uh, deadly records. Data compiled by meteorologist Jeffrey Master shows that when deaths, damage, and financial losses are considered, 2011 can be called the worst U.S. tornado year on record. And uh, that's just been going on as far as 2011 record-breaking everything, and we are gearing up for another record-breaking year. Uh, earthquake rattles the Dominican Republic. San Domingo, a moderate tremor 5.3, uh, has rattled the entire Dominican Republic at around 5.32 a.m. local time. They're saying this is at a depth of 10 kilometers, and this big magic 10 kilometer depth uh, earthquakes that seem to be going on. Um, very uh, active area around Puerto Rico and the, that whole shelf uh, right there in the Caribbean as of uh, since I've been paying attention to it for the last year, year and a half. Europe's highest active volcano rumbles back to life and yet another uh, volcano going off Europe's, Europe's highest uh, active volcano has rumbled back to life. Mount Etna in the Mediterranean island of Sicily has released a column of ash up to 5,000 meters over 16,000 feet above sea level. And they've got video on that as far as lava flow and the, and the whole show. South Dakota farmers have mixed feelings about warm winter. Uh, golfers have been hitting the links and South Dakota cities are saving on their snow removal budget. But the warm weather is starting to make farmers nervous. Uh, this guy's quoting, I'm 83 years old and I never have um, seen a, a warm winter like this. And uh, Randy from Iowa said, uh, called the weather is strange, a nice strange though. And I can contest it is uh, very unusually hot here in Iowa. If we don't start getting some rain or snow, we're in deep trouble. And uh, farmers worried about his crop yields this year. And uh, you remember last spring we had all these super floods just west of us. And uh, we did all right here. Landslide kills 25 at gold mine in southern Philippines. More than 100 believed to be still buried um, due to rough weather there. Over to another story. Uh, NASA finds Russian runoff freshening Canadian Arctic. Um, this has to do with uh, the conveyor belts, the, the ocean belts. A new NASA and U University of Washington study uh, allays concerns that melting ice, melting Arctic sea ice could be increasing the amount of fresh water in the Arctic enough to have an impact on the global ocean conveyor belts uh, that redistributes heat around our planet. Lead author and oceanographer uh, Jamie Morrison of the University of Washington Applied Physics Laboratory in Seattle and his team dedicated detected a previously unknown redistribution redistribution of fresh water during the past decade from the Eurasian half of the Arctic Ocean to the Canadian half. Yet despite the redistribution they found no change in the amount of fresh water in the Arctic that might be a sign a change in the conveyor belt. Uh, but the Russians just put out a study with all the, with all the methane pools that are going off there and it's warming up and uh, Definitely an interesting read. It's very, very long. I don't want to go through the whole thing. Uh, over to Ice Age now. Valdez, Alaska, snowiest December and maybe season on record. That's in Alaska. Kenya, worst ever case of frost to hit the country. Uh, Kenyan's worst biggest exporter of black tea has lost a significant part of its tea production for this month due to severe frost. 
and that's about all new they have going on today um, just crazy weather going on all around it's it's freezing temperatures in the, the extreme southeast of the United States and here I am sweating in my own house uh, over to the RSOE uh, flash flooding in Brazil um, continued after effects of the, the storms in the United Kingdom and uh, Ireland of course uh, the forest fires in Chile continue a tornado reports in Australia and extreme weather they're saying they're having supercell thunderstorms uh, in the state of Queensland and the state of New South Wales and the Sydney area um, hail storms in uh, Africa and Malawi and I'd say that storm's been ongoing since like the 29th through the 2nd of January. Just extreme damage there, too. Uh, vol more volcanic activity in Chile. Uh, the Lascar volcano uh, is gone on full alert. Another uh, two volcanoes in Indonesia. The L Lowo Tolo, L-E-W-O-T-O-L-O, um, has gone on high alert. They're not evacuating the locals yet. It's a voluntary thing, but uh, they're gearing up for the worst there. And uh, they have yet another um, volcano gearing up, Mount Ijen, I J E N. So here we go volcano, volcano, volcano. Uh, got a lot of volcanic activity gearing up right as of late. That's about all climate change I have for you tonight. Over to the nuclear stuff, E&E &E News real quick. National Geographic did a story on a nuclear resort in the Philippines. Come for the, re the reactor, stay for the beach kind of thing. Uh, this was a reactor that was built 30 years ago but was never started or uh, set up or that kind of thing. Um, just kind of some kind of weirdo tourist piece. Uh, developing story from Reuters, Japanese government considers taking control of all nuclear power plants in the nation. And you got to remember, they're going to throw it in the laps of the people. And these uh, <sighs> 4 4.9 earthquake hits Fukushima at 628 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I believe that was right around the earthquake areas. Uh... ABC Australia physicians call for much wider evacuations in Japan. Government continues to significantly underreport radiation levels. Uh, USGS two magnitude 5.0 plus quakes hit eastern Japan today. Um, massive radioactive waste buildup in Tokyo suburbs. First time center over capacity since September. Uh, Fukushima author, it seems there are already many cases of mysterious illnesses. I hear that malformed babies are being born and hidden. And uh, they got some pictures on the worst vegetation mutation harvested north of Tokyo in June and some crazy looking onion. And uh, where'd that other one go? Alarming government report discussed Tokyo exodus and collapse of spent fuel pool number four as rods melted through concrete walls. A report three quakes right underneath Fukushima nuclear plant. JNN live camera down immediately after. No word from Te TEPCO or the government. And a baby humpback whale was found dead near Tokyo Bay. And they have a video on that. Along with the, the birds, the, the bird video where these the Japanese are right up on top of these birds and they're not moving or anything as far as the radiation sickness, that kind of thing. Uh, that's about all I have for you tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please uh, leave your comments or attach your videos below. Uh, try to enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks for all your support.